Hello, welcome to Dorsta. I'm Pino Gree. I hear say that there was something called Metaverse announced and it's really important. Today, we're finding out what that is. Let's go! Hey, I'm Dad's Bell. So, can you tell me what are your impressions of the Metaverse? From what I've heard, like, um, one of my friends just told me about it. And like from my impression of it, like uh, he told me like a lot of people are paying a lot of money to get like virtual land. Yeah, so somebody told me that there are people that are like buying money, like uh, buying like with real money, like virtual land in the metaverse. Virtual but land in the metaverse. So do they buy that from the company? Do you think, or do they do they pay like a third party for a server or something? Yeah, that's that. I'm wondering like some. Um, I actually have no idea, but people are apparently like people are spending a lot of money. But somebody told me that, like, so I'm not sure how accurate that is because I actually don't know too much about Metaverse. I heard that the company used to be Facebook or something like that. I don't know anything about the company that runs oh, yeah. it. Well, what do you think it will become? Like, what are based on what you do know? What's sort of your feeling of where the company is going to go with that product? I think it's a cool idea, but I, I I don't know how far it'll actually go. What is that idea? Can you tell me a little bit more about that? It's like a um, peer-to-peer -peer connection, and like maybe it would be run by like players, whereas if it was like on like uh, public servers, you know, it's like more of a company mm -hmm. thing, I guess. I immediately think about Facebook's failed concept of the metaverse. I also know that the word metaverse has a different meaning, but just that the fact that Facebook trying to make a metaverse that's not going very well. It's the first first thing I think of. I think they're trying to think too far into the future. I think the technology is still not at the point where it should be in order for such a large scale project to take place. And I also think they allocated too many resources to it. And and also focus on concepts that people don't like only for commercial purposes. Follow the flow of capitalism exactly. Don't focus on what the consumers actually want. Just focus on what makes you the most money is the common uh, idea. Yeah, I'm Watcher. I'm from the UK. Um, I'm a 3D artist. So Watcher, as you might have noticed, uh, recently there's been a big talk about the metaverse. What is mm. your opinion about this? I know it seems to have came out of nowhere, doesn't it? Maybe Facebook has, um, you know, made it more public knowledge. I think at the moment it's that strange mix when people still didn't understand what AR and VR was in respect to each other. It's very nebulous, isn't it? But I get the feeling that metaverse is just the new catch-all term for anything outside of the real world. Not even just VR, maybe, you know, website-based stuff, perhaps. I guess we're living with it now. That's the surprising thing, yeah. Everyone thinks it's still far away, but it's actually pretty close, in my opinion. Exactly. I think maybe the problem is, especially in the West, is you hear about stuff like VR chat, you jump on, and you see a lower quality of what's out there. And then, you know, you've shown me around the some of the Japanese things and you can just see the quality is massively higher. We're just seeing a, um, what feels like five, ten years old, but it's far, far better. It's just not kind of blown out of Japan yet. I guess like yeah. sort of early days of Japanese cinema and the, the anime is, you know, in the 90s, it was very small group. And now uh, it's blown up. Everyone knows what it is. Everyone watches it. You know, you get it on Netflix. So when you think of metaverse, what's first coming to mind? You know, we're all VR chat players, so metaverse might already sound familiar, but the word itself sounds really well, sci-fi-ish, if you know what I'm talking about. So something, mm -hmm. so as a first universe, perhaps recommending some kind of space or community or platform or somewhat. Perhaps the platform is what we're expecting at least to me the platform that you mentioned how do you think it will become many people could expect or at least zuckerberg is expecting this to be a world changing method again just like iphone or smartphones change our lives today i'm not expecting it more than let's say a social media it's just a new facebook or a new twitter that's just you're gonna use it on vr or it's gonna be able to show you some well such as 360 videos that allows you to watch them on vr which pretty much of the or on youtube today 
and just like VR Joy, we use now a VR SNS that you're gonna play on and a platform for you to upload your content sets was limited from formal expressions be with phones, computers, or let's say iPads. Sometimes now we, we can see, we hear about artists making 3D artworks by using VR technologies. And pretty much like what we do, well, more advanced of what we do on VR, just drawing on in the air and making things or things that are in form of 3D, not just on a thin paper that's like illustrations of 2D, no longer limited by the space we're living in now. I'm Thomas and from Germany and I've maybe watched it since a half of a year. What do you know about the metaverse that has been recently so popular in the news? I don't know much. I've seen the trailer, but I don't have a special knowledge about it. The metaverse, do you think you are right now in the metaverse? Uh, no. Uh, I think I'm in VR chat. <laughs> what I would expect the most. I would probably, so one thing that I've been kind of wanting is more like personal customization that you would be able to do in the actual game, but also um, just opening up the game for the, for the masses, for the wider masses, making more people see the potential in it. I think uh, that would be uh, important steps in order to make a more full-fledged metaverse. Beside the fact of what meta between quote marks Facebook is going to do with the metaverse. What is your expectation of the future of metaverse? I don't expect Facebook to have um, any sort of monopoly on it, let's say. You know, so whatever they come out with and push, other than maybe the hardware is going to be quite monopolized by them. But in a sort of software world, because phones are getting so much more powerful, you know, the Quest 2 compared to the Quest 1 is is so much better. I feel in, you know, in the coming years, you're going to have metaverse almost everywhere. Um, sort of sci-fi, like if you'd imagine you can walk down the street and there would be adverts available in a kind of augmented reality way. You know, um, there's uh, VR or AR glasses that are um, peeking their head around the corner. You know, I've got a, a child and I bet by the time he's old enough to properly use hardware you know laptops in the store uh, there's there's just going to be incredible metaverse like things available you know throughout the day i almost can't imagine what will be out there but i imagine it'll be mind-blowing let's say mm. unlimited almost you know if facebook is making the metaverse then what do you expect from it like is it going to be any good i don't know um i don't want to judge it before it happens so maybe we are positive, uh, positive surprise, but I think it will be very business-like. So with many com uh, companies and commercials, NFTs and... Doorstop. You talked about it becoming a social media platform, VR. Uh, how, do you, how do you see that relating for non-technical people who don't have a lot of skills with Udon or um, Blender and that sort of thing? Well, it's especially with these kind of people, well, at least currently, the I say the mainstream of VR SNS, well, VR Chat, Nils VR, and Jello VR, they are not. I don't think they can be considered as a part of the creator to those platforms. And to them, it's mostly is like a let's say a virtual park that you can experience other people's creations and look around, travel around the world that have amazing same place to view and let's say, mm -hmm. Varia rides that are created by Variaru, the virtual Akakisha. That's an amazing amusement to experience. If you got a VR, mm. try that out. But there's a large uh, corporate interest behind Metaverse. So do you think it'll maintain its user-driven content, or will it maybe be blocked behind sort of only what the corporation would allow to exist? I would say it will be largely affected by, well, it's, it's all coming down to platforms as we're now using Steam to access VR chat, and maybe someday, maybe a meta chat or somewhat that will be mm -hmm. maybe default, defaultly installed in Quest 2, which I'm using right now, to which will be facing to people's normal people that don't have much knowledge about content creating and mm. like accessing the 
metaverse with zero knowledge and knowing nothing about the world we're living in right now. Do you think it could operate then as YouTube does, where it sort of scouts talent from the producers and then gives them like hidden backing when they do well and then favors them? Definitely its, will. Uh, publication. And then like China is a very large market for this. Is it widespread already in China or do you think it'll have to grow? Well, it would, I'm expecting it's gonna take a couple of years or more than five years to grow in China. Well, the cr biggest reason mm -hmm. is even, let's say, the cheapest virtual reality device right now, the Meta Quest 2, uh, I should say, costs quite a fortune to Chinese people, including me. And this mm -hmm. is already a quite a high standard for, well, daily use. Because many people now, they can live their life just with a smartphone, not even a computer, mm -hmm. not even a PC. Mm. To so. developers, they, surely they will know more about it. But to normal people, perhaps it's quite hard to reach them. Letting mm -hmm. them know the virtual reality community. This sounds like there's still a pretty big bar barrier for um, the amount of technology you need just to install and use the, the platform. But if it became widespread, like in your most techno fantasy, what do you think it could look like? Will people walk down virtual streets while walking in physical streets in like an AR sort of way? Altered reality or modified reality? Or will it just be something done privately at home? I'm more expecting it to be something just privately done at home. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're walking out down the street, you're not gonna like to wear in this big white box on your head, which is pretty, quite heavy. And pretty much smartphone will do most what you're gonna want to do with outside walking down the street. I suppose that's true, it already does do a lot of that. Do you think there could there could be a development of sort of like a VR cafe where you where you go and rent, you just hire for like a couple of hours or the days? Surely, and thing. actually this is the most, currently this is the most popular, well, way to experience virtual reality technology now in China. Well, oh, many people, they oh, don't own true? their own HMD devices, but this is pretty much, mm -hmm. that's, how do you call them? We call them, well, you just go to the shop and they will lend you the VR devices for, let's say, mm -hmm. well, half a box for per an hour. And if you like it, you can decide to buy or not. And if you mm. think you don't, you're not gonna play it for long. Some shops, they rent your devices, allow you to bring it home. And for mm -hmm. a month oh. or two, mm -hmm. and you just send it back to the shop. That's, the that is, I is think, un... pretty popular in our country right now. Yeah, I think that's unheard of in other countries. I've never heard of that before. I mean, exactly what I'm expecting. I never mm -hmm. heard people talk, talk about it out of China. Oh, that's, that's interesting news in China. Samurai's question is, what do we want to do in the metaverse in the coming future? Well, what we're doing right now every day in VR chat, which I've been doing in the last four years, just mm -hmm. chilling out and chat with friends, making some contents, or making something cool to ourselves, or to someone else, and knowing friends, new friends, old friends. I think I want to escape. I really fear the, um, the corporate restructuring of our playtime. So, <laughs> I, I, I have a dim view of Metaverse, I'm afraid. So it seems pretty clear to me that uh, the metaverse represents some big changes coming to the structure of virtual reality. Right now we can imagine it'll be a lot more users or a lot more business interests or things like that. But I think ultimately the truth of it will hold a lot of surprises for us and we won't know until they come. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video!